Would you like to learn about the Security Solutions Architect role? If so, this video is for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Security Solutions Architect role. We're gonna see how that compares with other architecture roles like security architect roles, and maybe a cloud architect or an enterprise architect. And then we're gonna talk about what we do as a security solutions architect. So to begin, I'd like to talk about the various architecture roles. And I think that's gonna help explain uh, what we do as security solutions architects. So I'm gonna discuss the architects roles first, and then I'm gonna dive deep into what we actually do as security solutions architects. So in this diagram, you can see that I actually shared various architectural roles. And this is what a normal organization is gonna look like. You'll see at the top of the organization, at least the technology organization, we're gonna have a chief information officer. They're the executive that's responsible for the organization's strategy and its operations, at least the IT organization. And underneath that person, you'll immediately something called an enterprise architect or a chief technology officer. They're going to be the chief strategist that reports into the chief information officer. They will advise the chief information officer on various architectural approaches. They'll be looking at people, processes, and technology everything necessary to optimize that business. Now, when we get one step beneath this, we're getting into the modern cloud architect, which is a hybrid multi-cloud architect, which basically the cloud in some way, shape or form, whether it's a data center, a co-location facility or a public cloud provider, that's where we're gonna put all of our technology systems. So this is again, a big position because the average enterprise spans multiple clouds and data centers. So big position, strategic position, can't get too close to any kind of technology because that cloud architect's responsible for networking, security, compute, storage, applications, AI, everything. So that brings us into the world of security architects that are responsible for the security strategy. Now, the key to remember about the security architect, and we'll, we're going to briefly show very shortly the differences here, is the security architect is responsible for the entire organization strategy. Everything that's there. Now, that means the security architect will be dealing with technology from many vendors, policies, procedures, what have you. And you're going to see how closely the security architect is and the security solutions architect is in a minute. But the security architect's responsible for everything. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Imagine you work for a company and they've got 100,000 employees, which is kind of normal for an enterprise. A couple hundred to thousand remote location, 100,000, 200,000 IP addresses, tens of thousands or millions of clients. And you need to architect a security solution for that. So... That means at the security architect level, we're going to be dealing with processes, incident response procedures, every vendor's technology you can think about, as well as all the design and everything else that we do as architects. So the key to remember here is this security architect is going to be bigger picture because we're going to be dealing with every person. Now, they're almost going to do the same job as the security solutions architect, but there are some subtleties here. So now if you think that you're the security architect for an enterprise, realize that enterprise is going to have a lot of security partners. Maybe they're using Okta, for example, for their identity and access management. Maybe they're using some firewalls and IDS IPS systems from, say, Palo Alto. Maybe they're using a SIEM system from Cisco, for example. Now, how in the world is the security architect going to understand every vendor's technology at any level of depth? They can't. So that's where the solutions architects come into the architectural picture. If I'm a security architect, when I work as a security architect, here's what I do. And I obviously take my role, but I get the guidance and advice from experts. For example, I may know that I need 100 gigs of firewall throughput at a certain level of feature and functionality set. But I don't know which of Palo Alto's firewalls can do it. And if I go to the Palo Alto website, I'm going to get a marketing number from the marketing department. But I'll tell you, someone at Palo Alto or Cisco 
can a solutions architect there can be able to go back to their team and understand if I say I need a hundred gigabit per second throughput with this types of features, they can go to their team and they can spec out a product set that's going to work for me. So they can say, you want this model firewall, for example, and you need this many of them. And these are the best practices for the use and operation of this firewall. Same thing I'm going to get from Cisco. So you can see the solutions architects are typically going to be able to be more knowledgeable about a particular technology. And with that's going to go some of the strategy where the security architects going to be focused on the bigger, more strategic picture. They're going to need the expertise and guidance of various solutions architects, typically coming from various vendors. Now, if they're coming from a Palo Alto, a Cisco, an IBM, an Okta, those solutions architect roles are pre-sales. And the key th goals of these roles are to design a solution to the customer, present it to the customer, sell it to the customer, what have you. Now, if it's a post-sales role, there will be times where a company, let's say you're a global bank, they will be using, say, firewalls from Palo Alto and Cisco. So they may actually hire some security solutions architects to focus on those areas of expertise. Now, there's another subset of solutions architects in security, and that's going to be the security specialty solutions architect. So what does this mean? So let's say you go to a company like Palo Alto, Cisco, IBM. The traditional solutions architect is that pre-sales, design, present, sell role. Obviously, this person at Palo Alto can know more than the average security architect about Palo Alto products, but they may not know all the products in extreme depth. So what you'll find is all these vendors have these specialty security solutions architects that are going to be experts on one thing. You may have the encryption uh, principal solutions architect or consulting solutions architect or distinguished solutions architect that you go to when you're dealing with weird and strange and incredibly complicated encryption scenarios. Or maybe they've got someone over there that focuses on identity and access management. That's their strength. Or there's someone that's an expert in internet service provider security. So that's where you'll see these expert uh, specialty solutions architects come in. Now, keep this in mind as a general rule, not always, but as a general rule. As you move up from the secure, the these solutions architect roles into these bigger architect roles, they typically pay more because as we're here, we're typically focused more on the technology side of the design. And as we move up, we're focusing more on strategic areas. Okay, so what is it that we do as a security solutions architect? And it's gonna sound exactly or almost exactly like a security architect or a cloud security architect. So the security solutions architect is gonna be involved in design and planning. So they will be helping to develop uh, comprehensive security strategies and architectures, but they'll have the hint or the tint of that single vendor or that specialty technical approach, more at the, at the technical level than the strategic level. The security solutions architects may help with the creation of security policies, standards, and procedures, much like a security architect would create these. The security solutions architect may help plan a long-term strategy aligned with the business goals based upon specialized technology that they may know more about. Now, of course, like any other architect or any other security architect, the solutions are, security solutions architect will help with risk management. They will help with analysis and planning, uh, vulnerability analysis, best practices, that kind of thing. They will help to identify, prioritize, and quantify security risks. In fact, it's going to be essential in these roles. If you're a security solutions architect working for a vendor and you've got a $50 million security solution, you're going to have to show that client that they've got, say, $200 million of security risk exposure in order to be willing to pay, say, your $50 million for your security architecture. So you're going to be involved in doing that. You'll be developing risk mitigation strategies. Now, in any architect role, security architect, security solutions architect, you're going to be collaborating with leadership and other tech teams as well. So you'll be working with IT teams. You'll be, you'll be uh, leading teams. You'll be facilitating meetings. You'll be working with business leaders. You'll be collaborating on security projects and other things that are there. You might uh, develop some security awareness training programs, specifically, typically around a vendor and its technology. Although it could be a wider scale uh, security awareness training that a security architect would do which for security awareness for the business. Now the security architect and, the, uh, and even the specialty security architects are focused on uh, 
monitoring and response, development of incident response procedures, uh, who speaks to the press, what have you, who speaks to law enforcement, do you call law enforcement, who speaks to regulators, all those kind of things, many of them will be documented in the policy and an incident response procedure. Now, they're determining whether to call law enforcement or not, that'll be in, kind of incident specific, but those types of things that are there, the security solutions architect will be doing a lot of these. They'll be helping and creating of testing plans, business continuity plans, disaster recovery plans, now, the security architects will often lead proof of concepts where the customer will want to see if something's possible and the security architect will create the proof of concept, meaning design the strategy around it, the scope of the proof of concept, the types of technologies that are needed, and then who's going to come in and build the proof of concept like a security engineer or what have you. The security architects will get involved in governance and compliance. They'll make sure that any security architectures or sub-security architecture they take, maybe for specific areas, will be in compliance with industry regulations, standards, that type of thing. They'll help develop security compliance processes. Uh, for example, for anything that's external, they'll be involved in risk management discussions. And of course, like any other architect, the security solutions architect will be involved in research and innovation. They'll be looking for new areas of technologies as well as new vulnerabilities and what they can do to assist that business. They'll be looking at new opportunities to enhance security, and they'll be constantly researching emerging technologies and emerging threats and determining mitigation plans. Like all architecture roles, if you need to know what you're gonna secure, you need to understand the business and you'll be collaborating with stakeholders to get that. For example, you'll need to get stakeholders input on your architectures, feedback on your architectures and ultimately buy in on the architecture if you want to sell it to them. Uh, well, in any architect role, you'll be doing a lot of meetings. You'll be doing creating architectural documents, uh, giving architectural presentations. Uh, potentially leading a meeting or facilitating it. Now, as a solutions architect or security solutions architect, you're going to be responding to a lot of RFIs, requests for information, requests for proposal, requests for post, for quotes. And of course, we'll often be presenting at conferences and writing white papers. So in this video, we talked about what is the security solutions architect. We compared the security solutions architect role and talked to the security architect role versus various other architecture roles like the cloud architect or the enterprise architect. And then we talked about what we do. Now, if you'd like to become a security architect or a security solutions architect or a cloud security architect, an AI architect, enterprise architect, network architect, artificial intelligence architect, or any architect, Join us in a free architecture webinar. We are an architecture-focused institute. You can see our graduates everywhere. And on one of these free webinars, which you can find in the description of this video, we'll talk about what we do in the role, the skills that you actually need, how to get hired, how to bypass the HR people that want to reject you, all of it in this free webinar. And it'll be on Zoom, so we'll answer any questions you have about any type of architecture career you desire. And these are live and free webinars. Sign up in the description of this video. Also in the description of this video, you will see free guides to assist you in your technology career, like how to win the interview, for example, or like a security architect interview, or how to become a cloud architect, or how to become an enterprise architect. So many free resources, and it's free in the description of this video. So check it out and maybe sign up for some. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your IT architecture career. And I hope to see you in a free webinar or another online bootcamp or in another video. Take care.